Tonight, as the University of Central Florida is about to reopen, hundreds of students and staff members have tested positive for coronavirus more than nearly any other school in the country. Many UCF students will begin moving back on campus this coming weekend with classes resuming in just three weeks. When they return, they'll notice many big changes intended to protect them from the virus. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest joins us now. Mike. Well, campus life is certainly going to look much different this fall, Matt, without a doubt. Uh, for starters, about two-thirds of classes will be entirely online. But some students require hands-on, in-person courses to complete their majors. That means modifications to classrooms, housing, dining, and campus life. So you got your ID and your mask? Good. We met incoming freshman Caitlin Gamry as she picked up her UCF student identification. I'm very excited because I um, like to live independently and be on campus, but obviously it's very different. Even before classes resume, UCF's website shows it has identified more than 430 students and staff members who've contracted COVID-19, the second highest of any major university, according to the New York Times. UCF says its own team of contact tracers has been actively identifying people exposed to the virus to protect the university community. Gamry's mom appreciates such precautions. I feel that UCF is doing a good job. I'm very impressed by the information that they're giving us. Although her daughter will take some online classes, as a theater design technology major, Gamry plans to spend a lot of time in this building. With tech, we still have to learn to work with the equipment and um, work in different spaces. Like one of my classes is a lab for stagecraft, so obviously you have to be in person for that. University personnel have been sanitizing classrooms, blocking off seats to promote social distancing, installing touchless faucets, and outfitting ventilation systems with virus-killing ultraviolet lights. Some dorm rooms have been reduced to single occupancy, and anyone living in university-owned housing or Greek housing must undergo mandatory virus testing. As flashing signs around campus make clear, masks are now required. Students will be given free masks, which they can pick up at vending machines like this one. I love it here, so there's no going anywhere else. Like, this is it. Lexis Constant is returning to UCF for her junior year and paying good money to do so, even though all but one of her classes will be online. As a health sciences major, she's concerned she'll have limited access to libraries and other resources. You could go get help from professors anytime you needed to, so I feel like it's going to be harder to learn, especially with like harder majors, harder classes. Now, perhaps surprisingly, UCF officials say their summer enrollment was the highest it's ever been. And while they do anticipate some drop off in enrollment this fall due to the virus, they don't know that for certain. Right now, UCF says that enrollment's been fairly steady. Matt and Lisa.